All right. Now we're doing free code camp, response web design, learn HTML forms by building a registration form. Step 30. All right. So now we're going to need to confirm that the user has read the terms and conditions. We'll add a label element and inside the newly created, created, pardon me, label element, we'll add an input element and set the type attribute to checkbox. We'll make this input element required so users cannot sign up without agreeing to the terms and conditions. We'll also add an ID and for attribute with the value terms and conditions to the elements for accessibility. All right. So you know what? You know what we're going to do here? Uh, let's just go ahead and take this one right here. Why not? And we'll just take it like this and we'll drop it off like this. Now, we'll drop it off like this. How about that? Oh, that's good enough. All right, cool. And uh, inside here, we'll change this stuff up to what it wants. All right, so let's change up the four. It wants terms and conditions. So let's type up terms and conditions as if we don't have it to copy from here. You know, uh, let's say terms hyphen and hyphen conditions like that. And let's copy this and let's drop it off in this ID right here. All right. And now what we're going to do is uh, da, 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 do the checkbox. Well, let's look what the checkbox does first. I'm sure it's cut and dry, but let's check anyway. Check box attribute HTML right here, all right? And for the definition and usage, uh, the input type equals checkbox defines a checkbox, all right? Uh, the checkbox is shown as a square box that is ticked, checked when activated. Uh, checkboxes are used to let a user select one or more options of a limited number of choices, all right? And for the tip, we're gonna always add the label tag for best practice, for best accessibility practice, best accessibility practices, all right? And for the syntax, like it said up here, it's just gonna be type equals checkbox, right? So we've got a type right here that's radio, and we'll just call it checkbox, thusly, right? And you can see we've got this going on right over here. Let's uh, check the code. Nope, required, ah, ha, ha. We should have took one of the required ones. No big deal, we'll just type required, required right here. Is that spelled right? It sure is, all right, and submit it. All right, now we're on to step 31, and we'll see you next time.